vlog today it's kind of a Christmassy vlog I'm going to show you our decorations that we set up on the weekend I like the yeah it's not Christmassy <laughs> my son had this thing last year I like this and I think he's outgrown it he still doesn't quite I haven't done my hair this morning um tree goes up so he thinks it's Christmas Eve and then last year on it's Boxing Day he was like it's Christmas again and the day after Christmas so Boxing Day not just yet, sweetheart, mm. soon. Oh, look at your shoes. Let's get our shoes on. Um, the day after Boxing Day, it's like well, Christmas. Okay, go grab your sparkly shoes. So we had to take the tree down. And I think, oh, I think it might be um, similar this year. So I had to put up our event calendar. We've actually got a reusable felt like event calendar my mum got the kids years ago. Um, I've got that up, so hopefully he understands. I really need to wash my hair, but I'm going out with a girlfriend for dinner tonight. And I've got so many errands to do today. It, it's just gonna have to get by. Um, so I thought I'd bring you along for a daily vlog because I haven't done one of these for ages. Um, it's not a day in the life because I don't believe in those anymore because it is literally, it's literally highlights of my day. I haven't shown you breakfast, getting ready. We practiced name writing this morning. I had to package up some boards. So what we're going to What are you guys doing? Going to back down. Oh, gentle with Zozo. Our little girl here does not like the sound of some of the Christmas decorations. She finds them a bit intense. So she's been upstairs hiding in the wardrobe. You feeling a bit better now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shoes on please, sweetheart. Um, so I've got to go to the post office this morning. I have stuff to drop off at Salvo's and then the Salvo's clean out. I have cleaned my kitchen and bedroom and I have some items I wanted to on Marketplace. I need to get those uploaded on Marketplace. Mommy. Yes. Mommy. That's the right foot, good girl. That one. Mommy. Mommy. Yes. Yes, good girl. I need to go to the tip. I don't think I'm going to do that today because it is pouring with rain and I've got kids. we're going to go to the shops go to the post office um, I'm going to come back I want to do a gym workout so I think I might film that I do the oh I need to sneeze I do the Chloe Ting workouts I actually have gym gear on it today plan to do gym workouts so I'm going to get hot and sweaty I'm going to get dirty I'm going to vlog and then later yeah. this afternoon these might be getting a bit small for you Oh no, that's still fine. Later this afternoon, I'm going to properly shower and get myself ready for a lunch, a, a dinner with a girlfriend of mine. Um, the kids and husband tonight have got leftover salads from last night. We had a barbecue uh, and then he can just heat up some um, fish fingers for the kids and he can have some fish as well. Pull the dress out between your legs. Nope, still between your thumb. Uh, so that's what we're doing today. So first off, we're going to go to the post office and then do a Salvo's run. All right, we're back. Didn't go to the Salvo's. Didn't have a great morning. Um, kids are sitting down having their morning tea and we have calmed right down. Just one of those mornings where I think we've been just cooped up. I think it's been raining for two days. Um, we had birthday parties on the weekend. We had family come up. It's just been really busy. And I think this morning, um, I had an expectation to want to get things done and then the kids had an expectation on how they wanted their day or their morning to go and I think we just clashed and we clashed quite badly so I thought that's fine we'll go to the post office and post the boards that was the last of my boards for those that have purchased them in the uh, Black Friday sale they're all gone they're out the doors they've all been sent uh, so thank you for those that did support and make a purchase for yourself or a few people bought like the packs. I'm guessing there's one for you and one for a friend or a family member. Um, we're home. It's raining. We're not going to go out and play outside. We might go run and jump in some puddles a bit later. Uh, but I want to give the house a bit of a refresh because we've got the tree up. You want to go outside? There you go. We had a barbecue last night. She keeps hanging out by the barbecue, I think, looking. 
All done, licking the content. Yeah, so this is how we kind of ended up this morning after a little breakdown and some apologies. Um, so Christmas is all set up. This is the event calendar I was, um, I think I was explaining, oh gosh, I explained it on here, it was on my Instagram thing. My mum bought this, it's actually felt, and it had like felt toys inside, but over the years we, we have lost some. So now I use it as like a reusable candy advent calendar, and all of this candy, plus more, so everyone's, Got candy in them. I think my kids have done a little tricky tricky. Cause I'm missing, I'm missing something from that one. That one there. Um, so this is all from Halloween candy and all the birthday parties we've had with all the party bags cause kids get lolly. So what I've done is I filled it up. So on the 1st of December, so tomorrow, and then we go through and the kids can go through and pick out a candy after dinner have a little treat uh, and that's going to be our reusable advent calendar so i thought that was really cool where she got it from i don't know to be honest i think this is actually a really great idea instead of buying like the chocolate books every year have you got your drawing there bub um i actually thought this was a really good idea reusable felt one and using it for whatever you choose to put in it a little toy a chocolate a healthy treat whatever you want but if it was me i'm a bit crafty i reckon i could make this now that's actually one piece of fabric there but you could just get felt this whole thing is felt cut out a tree this is all the one fabric but you could cut out a tree stick it on and then you could like get some little pockets and do your own decorations theme it this has got like wood up the top where it's held up and the large green so the green is separate from this whole one here this is all one piece here um, but yeah if you're looking for something maybe that you can do an event calendar with or be a little bit more maybe environmentally friendly these are lollies we've already had next year if i don't have these many lollies from birthday parties and halloween i'll choose better packaged lollies um but that's what we've got no idea where she got it from i've never seen anything like it she bought it four years ago i think so i'm sorry if you're gonna ask i cannot cannot help you but let me show you our christmas stuff we're kind of a little um hitting <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is our house today. And we've got the new bluey on. Kids are enjoying it. Uh, we haven't gone too crazy with Christmas this year because there's a couple of things I want to change when we're moving. And what we've got is perfectly fine. Now, this is not our normal Christmas tree. Mum and Dad updated their Christmas tree and they gave this one to us. And I really like it, but I don't really like it, but I do really like it. So we've kept our old one, because our old one has got lights built into it. And then next year, we're gonna decide what we're gonna do. We can't put two Christmas trees up in this house because this one's downstairs, upstairs, there's no room. But the house we're moving into, once we've renovated it, there's actually room for one downstairs and one upstairs. I don't know what we're gonna do, but I've got little Santas set up. I got these on sale last year. Oh, that was my knee cracking. The cat's still a little bit, what's going on? I got these on sale last year from Pillow Talk. He was 120 and I think he was 60 or 70. Um, they've got ones out this year. I think they're like a gnome sort of one. You can turn them on and he lights up. And then this year the gnome one's got like a lantern that lights up. But I got these. Yes, darling. Can I write a letter to Santa? You can write a letter to Santa. We're on this. We're on the Christmas bandwagon now, guys. Um, but these got reduced down. So two days before Christmas, they just had like a clearance and I tracked them down. This is actually at the uh, Brisbane Airport DFO. I think he was on clearance for 50 from 120 and he was on clearance for like 20 or $30. So I grabbed them. These are new. These are from Kmart. Uh, again, not normally where we'd set things up, but we're just sort of keeping it all clustered this year for Christmas. And then next year, I'll probably do it a little bit different and I'll share some things with you. I haven't even decorated our door with like the garland and the reef and that sort of thing. We're just not going to go there these don't light up at all but their legs do go like up and down like that there for some silly reason i got that in pink i should have gotten it in red and then the santa does it as well push them down there we go so they're really cute i think they were 20 dollars each i think and then from came up their new season we've got a little train that actually operates down here i got this on clearance Day after Boxing Day, I think it might have been. No, it was just before Christmas again last year. I think because last year was, you know, the first of 
the year of lockdowns and they had a lot of excess stock so I actually got this from Spotlight and I think it was a hundred and they had half price so I got it for 50 but I just Can saw I one Hang on, so let me finish talking, it's a bit noisy. I saw one of these on Marketplace for 40 bucks and I was like, something like this is an absolute bargain. So it's the North Pole Express. I got it from... Got it from Spotlight. Look at your mouth, you just had a chocolate custard, chocolate yogurt. Uh, and that's our tree. We keep our tree pretty real. The kids make decorations and we very proudly display them. Yes, you may. Um, I, it's going to be really noisy, guys. I need to get the house cleaned. These are some of the things that I'm wanting to sell on Marketplace. I used to be like really into, I'm sorry about the noise, teapots and tea sets and that sort of thing. This set here, I think I've used like four or five times. It's an older set, but I haven't used it much. So I'm going to sell it on Marketplace along with a couple of other things. Uh, yeah, that I need to clean. Our neighbours who have just moved overseas had to scrub their house the other week and she gave me a bunch of cleaning products. Because when we vacate here, I'm gonna pop out the way. Oh, and I've got de decorations going down there. This is a bit better. So when we move, I'm going to self-clean the house that we're in. The quotes that we got, same as our neighbours. It's ridiculous. And we're actually quite lucky with, um, we're not renting through real estate. We're, we're renting now directly through our landlords. And they're lovely. They're, they're friends of ours. So... We are uh, given the option to self-clean. Uh, I think it's a great thing you can do if you are a cleaning person, you don't mind cleaning, because the quote we got for this place here was four figures. I'm not kidding, it's four figures to clean this place. The cheapest quotes I could get were four figures. Um, the low four figures, but it was four figures. I'm like, I just can't pay that amount where we're transitioning over like a couple of weeks, so, those products there will come in handy. Yes, they're full of chemicals and unsafe things, but I need to get this house scrubbed and clean and they purchased them. And she said they were literally gonna go in the bin. So I was like, give them to me because I will use them. I'm gonna scrub this whole house. I'm gonna film that for you as well. Uh, but I think for now, I'm gonna set the kids up with some puzzles. We're gonna turn the TV off. Uh, focusing a lot lately on structuring our days better. And by that, I mean we were doing things, but I had the TV on in the background, so I'm trying to turn it off a bit. I think I just broke one of my nails. Yep, just snapped my nail. Um, so I'm turning the TV off, and we're going to do like puzzles and games. I'm going to set them up, help them, and then I need to clean that kitchen, and I need to get photos of the items I want to sell on Marketplace. That tea, tea set I'm going to sell, and I went through my wardrobe. I was extremely ruthless. My kids made their beds this morning trying really hard to put some routine and structure in place for next year because next year it totally totally changed it's amazing after like practice and practice how good kids get at making their bends let's just turn these off because there we go don't need the night lights anymore but i cleaned my husband done all this god bless her uh cleaned out my wardrobe was extremely ruthless and there's a couple of things that I want to get up to sell. Everything else I'm pretty happy with. So the day we move, it's all going to come. Husband needs to go through and clean out his. Uh, he said he definitely needs to go through. That's all, that, that's all my husband's. Those drawers are all my husband's. And all of those clothes there. Uh, my husband's which is fine because he's got like work clothes casual clothes suits corporates i i'm a stay-at-home mom so i can wear gym clothes for the day or i can put normal clothes on so i've got a lot more flexibility with my wardrobe i don't have uniforms or corporate wear anymore so it's literally me there and then from there going down so I'm starting to make it sounds really weird but I am starting to turn these around oh I really flicked that nail and it's come off I wonder if I can re-glue it she hurts this is my gel kit I use to do my own nails I cure them with the UV lights I done them probably about a week ago that's how fast my nails grow really quick um what was I gonna say so I'm gonna go downstairs that's where we're going and I'm going to back up for a sec. 
need to wrap a present. I should have done it this morning. I just came back from the post office. I've got to get that sent interstate for a Christmas present to the kid's cousin. So I need to get that done. My garage is looking okay. I need to get some washing done today. It's been raining non-stop and I hate using the dryer, but hmm. Hmm, there's washing sitting in there. Um, but first things first, let's get the kitchen cleaned. Let the dog in. Does she really want to come in? <laughs> Ding dong, ding, them bells are playing loud and clear. Dong, ding dong, they're saying it's that time of year. For dreams of snow and stolen kisses need the mistletoe. For kids from one to ninety-six with eyes and hearts aglow. Ding dong. Bells they chime for now, it's Christmas time. Yuletide carol choirs, angels in the snow. Chestnuts open fires, rides from long ago. Heart the herald, all ye faithful golden days of yore. Listen to the same old songs a thousand times and more. Ding dong, bells they chime for now, it's Christmas time. And the kids are having lunch. We just watched a new episode of Bluey on TV and they had cheese and jam sandwiches. So we're doing cheese for lunch today and a little bit of fruit. The kids are enjoying it. I'm going to have a little bit of lunch too, which is just some leftover salads from last night. So I'm going to get them into a bowl and eat that, clean up the lounge, uh, the kitchen stuff here. And then I'm going to take some photos and upload for Marketplace and hopefully I sell them quite quickly. I've always found with Marketplace, I can still sell stuff super quick if I price it correctly so just because I think something might be worth $10 and I think you know oh, I can definitely get $10 that's you know $10 is a good price it depends on what someone would pay so keep in mind it is second hand I actually looked at um, I think it was a lampshade a little while ago and the lady's like it's hardly ever been used mm, it's cheese brand new it was like four hundred dollars and she's selling it for like 350 i'm like mm. it's still second hand there's no return policy you've used it it's like six or nine months old and you've been taking 50 dollars off of it so and that was on that was up for sale for quite a while what do you want don't want my cheese sandwich uh, so i price things really cheap so the glass tea set I've got. It's beautiful. I paid quite a lot for it. 10? 15 years ago maybe? Hardly been used. Like pristine condition. Not a single scratch on it. Uh, the gold trimming is bright and vibrant but if I price that at like 150 bucks I, it might take me longer to sell it, and I might get that price, but for me, I want to just sell it and have it gone. So I'm going to price, um, put a price tag on it that is going to guarantee me a fast sale. And same with the clothing upstairs. I could probably put them at a price point between like $30 and $50. I just want them gone. So between $10 and $20, I'm just going to sell them or do like a buy them all at once and I can post them for you and do like a price point there. So for me, I want to clean it out for the next couple of weeks. We're like really decluttering leading into Christmas. Christmas will come. Christmas will go. And I'm going to really declutter again. Yes, darling? You don't like the cheese? We'll just take the cheese out and eat the bread. Yeah, trying, trying. Not new foods, we're just trying foods that we 
being fussy over at the moment. Um, so after Christmas, I need to do a big clean out. Uh, so around January, I need to go through the man's wardrobe and clean out like t-shirts that have got like stains from daycare and kindy because he's only going to go to school. He's only going to really have clothes for like the weekend or after school, clean out his swimmers that don't fit anymore. And then come January, I need to clean out as well all the toys we don't play with. Outside, we're getting rid of a lot of the stuff we have outside, keeping the trampoline, maybe keeping the cubby house. Little Miss plays it a lot and she'll be a bit more solo next year because the little man will be at school five days and she only goes to daycare two days still. Uh, so come January, big clean out. So I'm starting to do things now. The kitchen stuff I really wanted to clean out and get sorted. Everything in my kitchen now is going to come with us when we move. Even my ratty tatty tea towels, they're now going to be pinned to be uh, like car cleaning rags, so to speak. My tea towels are so badly stained. They're disgusting. But I've refused to get rid of them because when we move, I'll use the new tea towels there. Uh, and these ones here can just get used as rags. So I'm working my way through quite a lot. It's got its benefits, which means that when we move, I'm not doing this when we move and I'm hopefully not moving too much stuff when we move. Just means I need to get my butt into gear and get things sold and prioritized before we move. <laughs> Alright, so done. Marketplace. I've had two people inquire about these already. I've got those there on Marketplace. That on Marketplace, a friend said she wants that there. And I'm selling our steam mop. I I love it. It's great. There's nothing wrong with it. But if you saw my last cleaning video, that $10 mop I've got from Kmart, for me, it's much faster and more efficient. One, because it's so thin. This one here is actually quite thick on the base and I can't get under, like our doors have got like a, a, a track that I can't get underneath on them. And I have to plug that in, warm it up, steam. I'm attached to the lead, so I have to like um, plug the lead and move it around with me. With my other mop, I can like whiz around these floors really fast. Speaking of marketplace, I found my Christmas present on there. Uh, message later this morning, I'm like, I'll take it. It's exactly what I want. I want to get an iWatch, an Apple iWatch, just to make it easier because I find this is with me everywhere. And when a little man goes to school, if something comes up, I want to be answering my phone straight away. And if my phone's not on me, my watch will be on me. So I found a second hand one that I really liked. It's got everything I need. I've researched it, it's got the GPS tracking, it's got the cellular device, it was a really good price. And we were talking all morning, I'm like, yes, I'll take it, done. I'll do the bank transfer once I grab it off of you. Timing, when she'll be home, yep, that's fine, I'll make it work. And now I've heard nothing. And the last time we spoke was two hours ago, and technically I should be collecting it in 20 minutes. And I've messaged her saying, I need your address. Can I get your address, please? I know the suburb she's in, but I need the actual address. And then because we do like the, is it called the Oscar or Oscar direct payment? Um, you need your mobile number. So she gave me her mobile number. I haven't paid yet. Um, and I just text messaged her saying, hey, it's me about the watch, marketplace, whatever. And she hasn't replied. So I'm hoping she's okay. Or she has sold it to someone else maybe. Uh, not too sure, but anyway, we should be leaving now, which would have been great because I would have put the, uh, the kids' seats laying down a little bit and our, our car seats sit up straight, or you can recline them a little bit. And my kids are actually being really tired. I had to pull out the iPads for them and they're just having some quiet time. So if I don't hear anything from her in the next like half an hour, I might have to assume that she's either sold to someone else or I just won't be able to collect them today because the rain is coming down. And I'm going out with a girlfriend this afternoon for dinner and I need to get the dinner prep for here So it's literally husband's home kids get fed I get changed and I'm out the door So I can't really be like <laughs> I'm stuck in traffic and the place I booked for dinner was really strange. They Their cancellation policy was you have to cancel 24 hours beforehand, which I get But if you are more than 15 minutes late or cancelled in the 24 hour period they take $40 per person because you had to like put your credit card down as 
they ask for your credit card details when I done the booking, uh, which is fine. A lot of places do that, but forty dollars per person. So if me and my friend don't turn up tonight, it's eighty bucks they're gonna take out of me. So it's literally the dinner that we would have purchased. Uh, so I definitely have to be there this evening. Uh, so unless this lady is going to get back to me, like I said, I've now text messaged her and she's got my number and all my details so she knows it's me. I have nothing on Marketplace from her. Oh, another person's inquired about my tea set. See, I priced the tea set at a good price and I've had three people ask me about it. Yes, my nail ended up coming off. Um, three people inquired about it, so I'm hoping they'll be gone the next day or two. I just want the stuff gone. It's less to worry about, a less clutter. Um, so I think while the kids are just sitting there quietly, yes, on their screams, because they can't go out inside and play and they are so tired. I'm gonna clean up the puzzles and the lounge room. <laughs> The person who I was meant to go and pick up the watch from has sold it to someone else and stood me up. So, whatever. It was actually a really good buy as well. So, I am going to get my frustrations out and do a little home gym workout. The kids are just having some afternoon tea, tiny teddies. They had some kiwi fruit and strawberries before. I'm so bummed about this watch. Uh, and I do find it a little bit rude that I messaged her, texted her. And I've gone on Marketplace and it just says sold. I'm like, is that sold to me? I was meant to pick it up 45 minutes ago. So I find that a bit rude. Like if you've sold it to someone else or you took it off to say, I sold it to someone else so they know. Um, whatever. I'm going to put on a Chloe Ting workout. Nothing too crazy. I would love to have gone for a walk or something today. I think I just need it. My head's feeling really foggy. because I haven't done any sort of exercise or sort of even like just me time to clear my head and walk due to the rain and just being really busy on weekends it's quite annoying actually uh so i'm gonna do a home workout now the chloe ting one and then i pretty much ticked off everything i wanted to achieve today i've got a load of washing in the dryer perfect mum life on a rainy day my kids are still watching their ipads <laughs>
diet and cut out probably just over halfway through. So I don't know if you notice, I'm finished now. We actually done two workouts. My son's like, let's do another one. And then literally five minutes into it, they got bored and they went outside. So I've done two workouts. I will link just underneath here the workouts I've done. One was an ab one, one was a fat burner one. I just do them because I find the exercises are doable for my, uh, my strengths and where my current fitness levels is. I'm gonna leave the video here. I'm so upset I didn't get that watch. I'm really annoyed the lady at least didn't give me the courtesy. Politeness, people, goes a long way. If you salt to someone else, that's fine. Be polite and let me know. I'm gonna get some dinner prep going for the kids. Go upstairs and have a shower, because I don't know if you can tell, I am dripping, sweaty, hot mess. I've just put the air con on. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for my next one, because I'm gonna share what my kids are getting for Christmas. We'll talk soon, bye.